After updating the Steam Controller, we're going to jump into some uh, Geometry Wars Dimensions Evolved and uh, check out uh, the joystick shooter capability of the Steam Controller. Now, uh, Geometry Wars 3 is pretty much the same as Geometry Wars 1 on Geometry Wars 2, only it's got some uh, it's got a single player campaign, it's got some uh, fancy graphics and uh, some new music, but essentially it's the same game. Although personally I think I prefer Geometry Wars 2, but we're going to play Geometry Wars 3 because it's the latest one. Uh, we're going to go into the old the old arcade classic mode because I can't be bothered to play single player and uh, just have to stay alive as long as possible. Now the way I've configured the Steam Controller, let's just go to that for those of you that are fascinated by the Steam Controller setup. The way it's uh, configured is I'm using the left analog stick for movement. Um, you know, it works well, and the Steam Controller's got it there, so we might as well use it. And we've set up the right touchpad as the, the right sort of uh, analog stick uh, for, for shooting. Now, what I have found, which is really nice, is by setting the right analog stick response curve to aggressive, it basically makes the, the input non-linear. And for a game like Geometry Wars, where you, you're just trying to aim the, the bullets as quickly as possible, and you don't need a linear input for the shooting, that makes it probably... Uh, faster than actually using an analog stick to aim with because you can very quickly just move your thumb a tiny bit and that will change the direction of bullets. I did used to have anti-dead zone on it uh, before I update the Steam controller, but if you put anti-dead zone on it now, what happens is the game constantly receives a signal, so you end up just firing automatically, which uh, isn't what you want. But let's uh, let's resume and uh, we'll, we'll see how well it works. Now, the uh, the left analog stick on the Steam controller is uh, pretty decent actually and it's uh, very similar to what I remember the Xbox One analog stick uh, and different to the sort of 360 analog stick where the 360 analog stick surface has uh, a smooth top to it which means that when your thumb gets sweaty uh, I often find my thumb turning into a bit of a sweaty betty whilst I'm playing <laughs> shooting games when you get sweaty on this one it doesn't slip but on the 360 your finger would slip around so that's really nice as I say I think it's the same as the, the coating that you get on, uh, on an Xbox One controller, it's sort of like a, a, a gritty rubber texture to it, which just keeps your thumb nice and positioned on it. And uh, for movement, I did try using the, the top touchpad on this Steam controller, but it, it just didn't seem to work as well as the, um, as the analog stick uh, for this game. So uh, in some, some cases, I think uh, the analog stick is just simply a better way of doing things. And so it's nice that Valve Jesus! <laughs> it's nice that Valve put the uh, analog stick on there as an option for people that want to play games that are essentially, were essentially designed for it. Now, uh, the only other issue I found with the... Oh, 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 I'm just concentrating here. The only other issue I found with the touchpad for the aiming is that unfortunately in joystick mode... Oh, God, that was close. Um, <laughs> the... Uh, in joystick mode, you can't set the rotation of the touchpad. So you'll notice I'm, I'm shooting what in my mind is left and right, but what happens is it's going horizon Whoa, horizontally right and horizontally down. And uh, because I can't set the rotation, which you can when you've got the joystick in mouse mode, you can rotate the touchpad so you end up when you're moving your finger up and down, it's orientated so it's left and right. You can't set that in the joystick mode at the moment. So hopefully they add that to it. Uh, but you can, you know, you start getting used to it and you just sort of adjust to that. But it would be nice to have it as a setting. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> this game, it's just, uh, you really do. Oh, my God! Fly into the one that's just barely moving. Absolutely terrible. Uh, this game is the kind of game I, I find we, I have to be concentrating 110%. But comparably to uh, the Xbox 360 controller, which is what I normally play Geometry Wars with, um,. I think this is pretty much uh, on a par. I don't feel handicapped by the touchpad, and it's more than playable. Oh, God, that was terrible. We're going to have to use some uh, some bombs to, to get out of jail here because we're running out of lives. One thing I, I do, normally when I'm playing Geometry Wars, I, I use it as a game to uh, exercise to. So I'll be riding on the exercise bike and just uh, listening to some techno <laughs> whilst playing Geometry Wars. I'm sure that's what everyone does. Get out of jail. Um. It'll be really interesting to see if the Steam Controller touchpads are affected by having sweaty fingers. Because... Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, it's, my finger's fairly sweaty right now, you'll be glad to know, and it, it seems to be working fine. 
so maybe it isn't a problem. I'm terrible at this. I, th I think Geometry Wars uh, 2 is easier in some ways. These, these uh, orange ones that come from the tops and bottoms of the screen. I'm scared there. I'm using my bombs I don't need to. The, the orange uh, triangle guys that come from the side and then just swipe across I find really hard to uh, dodge. I think you're supposed to just kill them and then uh, fly towards them like a lunatic. Oh god, black holes exploded. Oh. But yeah, I, th I think this is a it's a good demonstration of how versatile the Steam Controller is again. Uh, a controller that works... Okay, we're just going to use a bomb. The controller that works for FPS games. Uh, driving... Oh, that was terrible. We're dead. Driving games and uh, even... Even your sort of old school arcade game. Right, we're gonna fo we're gonna focus this time. <laughs> we're gonna actually try and do well. I do like how you can snap left and right almost instantaneously, though. Which you know you can essentially do that with a with a gamepad anyway. And I think actually a gamepad is m more probably more intuitive for a lot of people. Uh, I'm not sure if that's because people are just experienced with gamepads, but you know it's like using the analog stick on the Steam controller for movement. There's a fundamental amount of uh, feedback you get from an analog stick that you can't ever get with a touchpad, even with the uh, Steam Rumble. So, and like I say, for the movement, I think the analog stick, just the way it works, and obviously the game was designed around analog stick, it, it just makes sense. For the shooting, though, it seems to be fine with the uh, touchpad. I have to say, I think a lot of the graphics in the Jobs Rewards Retro Evolved 3 are just... I think in some ways it, it looks worse than Geometry Wars 2. There was just a simplicity to Geometry Wars 2 that worked. And uh, also the spawning in uh, Geometry Wars 3 seems a little bit erratic. Whereas in 2 it... I don't know, maybe I just got experience with 2 so I've just got used to it. Oh, these green ones, they, they chase after you when you're not shooting at them. Let's get them. Oh my god, that's the risk. If you're shooting behind you, you don't want to fly into something in front of you. Come on, our score's pathetic. Oh, one one thing that's nice, actually, with it with the touchpad is you can do this, what I would call a, a sort of thumb roll. If you want to do a really subtle movement, you can sort of rest your thumb almost flat on the controller and, and wiggle it a little bit to get a really nice precise little <laughs> movement go away <laughs> oh my god uh, and that's really cool with, with this because you can not only flip left and right quickly to the touchpad to say you can then just do subtle adjustments even with high sensitivity okay we're using a bomb there let's get these green little point things And of course, you can always uh, fiddle with the controller. Oh, one thing I did try as well was that there's a mode on it where you can have it so that, regardless of where you move your thumb on the touchpad, we're going to get trapped here if we're not careful. Regardless of where you move your thumb, each time you push it down, that becomes a new centre of the joystick. Uh, I did try that, but it, I didn't like it at all. It, it didn't seem to feel right. And sometimes the Steam controller wouldn't register it as a new touch on the joystick. Oh my god, stuff bloody everywhere. See, in, in Geometry Wars 2, things tend to follow around with you, whereas in this, they, they seem to be all over the screen willy-nilly. Oh, that was terrible. Got t two lives, I think, to, to, to make this happen. What are we on? Three million? Not beating our high score yet. One more life. <laughs> this is probably the worst demonstration of Geometry Wars. Oh my god. Guy was going like a bat out of hell straight into me. So, there you go. You can play Geometry Wars with a Steam controller. I think the main things, it takes a little bit of adjustment 
to get used to the, the angle, as I say, because your thumb tends to go in diagonals rather than straight. And like I say, with the mouse, you can orientate the, uh, the touch pad. So when you do that, it's basically going left and right. It'd be nice to have that with the joystick mode. Using the left touch pad... Uh, not so good for movement. I'm sure you could, if you fiddle with it, you could set it up and it, it would be all right. But there has to be something said for uh, an analog stick. And, it, you know, if a game is purely designed for analog stick, especially with the movement, it, ju it just works. And it makes sense to use it because it is on the Steam controller. And it's nice that Valve actually decided to include an analog stick on their Steam controller, uh, whereas the early version of Steam controller didn't have it. So it was a good decision for them to put that on there. Um, but that's, that's about it. You can play joystick shooters with the Steam controller. With a little bit of practice, I think it's pretty much on a par with, with the Xbox controller. Uh, so, I, I really hope that was exciting. I, I'm sure it was possibly life-changing. I, I know uh, it's, it's changed my life. Uh, it's, it's, just, uh, it's just made the world a better place, being able to play Geometry Wars with a Steam controller. But if you enjoyed the video uh, and you want to see more, make sure you click the subscribe button. Uh, like us and all that business. Check out the links in the video description. Uh, we've got more VR videos coming, the old virtual realities, and we've got more driving simulator videos, so check out them as well. I will see you. Goodbye. <laughs>